Okay, I'm on your site and I'm going to go through a few things for you. I'm going to click the pencil on the right side. I'm in the editor now. I'm going to go to JSTOR. And just so you know, you you have, if you click this edit, I see that you're using just one tab, okay? Or I'm sorry, one section. You have up to three per tab. So you have one, which is fine. And um, here is your statement. So if I want to make this a little bit bigger, I can go here just to do a few things like that, access it here. Now, if I click, I'm using Firefox. I like Firefox for the editor, by the way. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this web links. I'm going to click this little, uh, let me make it bigger for you. I'm going to go down here and um, click this X turn it off, take it off. You don't need that. Those are all very old. They're already in your system. But Anyway, okay, that's gone. So now, as far as putting a link behind the image, and I think images dress it up a bit, you click here, you'll click the insert edit a link, and you'll see that I put in JSTOR. I can also put, sorry, So if anyone puts their mouse over the image, it'll say click image to access JSTOR. Right here is what I was talking about, new window. You, I always feel it's much better orchestration and, and et cetera. I'm going to say OK. So that if a student wants to stay on the library site, but at the same time move over to JSTOR, uh, they'll be able to do it by, once again, I'll just show you new window. OK, so I'm going to click done. All right. Um, let me look at your Gale. There's your Gale. Now here's the free text down here. I've clicked the free text. I could center it. I'm just typing something in there just to show you. There's that. There's font size. I'll make it 14. You also have your colors. Uh, I can make it something like that. Whatever you like. You can bold it. Uh, you can italicize all sorts of things. You'll you'll be fine with that. Okay. Uh, the Jewish online. Now this has three sections to the tab. And again, to remove again this little. Um, I'm going to save real quick. Okay. If I wanted to move this one somewhere over here, then I would take these the four blank or black, and I would go like this and drop it in that turquoise. So now I've got two here. I don't want that. I'm not going to save it. But just so you know, that's what that's for. It's for moving things around just like that. Okay. Um, now your librarian tab, only you see that. And maybe here are passwords for databases. And you can put them in here and list your passwords, EBSCO, Gale, JSTOR, etc. Then you've got something you could put here. Again, this is what librarians use to think about maybe maybe Passover is done. Maybe it's June. You're thinking about next year. Uh, you're putting up a virtual book bookcase, and you'll actually populate it, a physical bookcase in your library with these actual books. That's why that would be there. All right, I'm going to save and exit. And let's just, I'm logged in, so that's why we're seeing the librarian tab. And I type passwords for databases. Uh, JSTOR right here. If I click it, it opens up to a new tab. And I still have the library tab there. Glad to help.